What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. As you can see by the title, today's video is going to be a day in the life of a Trent student. Now, technically every single video that I do is a day in the life of a Trent student because I am a Trent student. However, today I'm going to be doing slightly more stereotypical Trent things um, in terms of it's nearly midday and I've only just woken up. I'm going to Ocean today, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm probably not going to do any uni work. So um, I've also had my body tracks tested um, which I will review later on in the video and that will just be a little part of it um, and then I can update you on my macros and stuff. So without further ado, drop the video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Let's get into it. First of all, as you can see, I'm in the kitchen, and this, if you ask me, is very stereotypical Trent. It's just a complete and utter shithole. So breakfast for me on a regular day would be, um, well, I, I would have scrambled eggs as often as possible. So I've got uh, some eggs here, I normally have three, and then just a splash of milk. And then what I've been having is this wholemeal bread. Um, the reason is because the slices are so tiny, if you have two, you feel like you're having two slices of toast, but there's only like, there's, hard, there's pretty much half the calories, and uh, a little bit more fibre in that kind of bread than, than white bread as well, so. Done. Right, so, a couple of bits of advice for this meal. Wholemeal toast keeps you fuller for longer. Smaller slices makes you feel like you're eating more. And pat it out with a teeny bit more milk in a scrambled egg so you get more, um, more scrambled egg. Also, use something like a flora light or just a light butter because you have less bread, which means you, leave, you use less butter. You use less butter that has less calories, that means less total calories. That means driving that weight down. Currently en route to the gym. Um, it's a Wednesday today. I'm not actually in uni today because barely any Trent students or, well, any students any, anywhere actually are in on a Wednesday because that's like the sports day. Pretty much how it works. This is part of the society. On a Wednesday you will have your games, like there'll be rugby matches today. A friend of mine had cricket training. All that kind of stuff is done on a Wednesday. So hardly anyone is actually in uni. It's around about half past two now and I'm heading to the gym. I've got my lean pre-workout, still waiting um, for my new shaker because that's delivered home. So um, yeah, gonna smash this workout. Jake's joining me, let's do it. So I challenge you, Liam, to 15 reps on 40. Bear in mind, I've just done. Yeah, yeah, excuse, excuses. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, come on. Then. Let's go, 15 reps. Easy. Five more, let's go. Let's go 20. Come on. Two more. And again. 25. Just wanted to be 20. <laughs> that feels good though, that feels good. Easy. Come on, come on.
not bad. Two, what's that? Three pounds down. One weight's gone, definition's back. Take that. Where are we going, Jake? Oh. Ocean. Ocean. No. Ocean. No. Ocean. No. Why not? I'm reading the frame of my head. <laughs> run, Jake, run. Jake, the cars. Stop. You Quick! Should, you should embarrass him. Please, oh, mate, no one cares. <laughs> no one cares. Stop, man. My truth is so what? A minute. <laughs> what? Please. We're not going to urgent start here. Oh, come on. You're just, like, they're You're not just out know. to sabotage my vlog. So we're going to Ocean. Um, Look at the state of you. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> look, at, look at you! Drop down in the comments who pulls it off better. Don't vote for him. Unsuccessful trip to Lovey Babes. I say unsuccessful, I think, honestly, I think he's swaying. I think he, uh, he really wants to go, but we've got dissertation and all that kind of stuff, so he's told himself he's doing the work. But, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right guys, so let's talk calories. As you guys know, um, I started to cut 10 weeks. I have to bring my best physique possible, right? Jumping on that bandwagon, I've decided um, because I do actually have 10 weeks to look a lot better for body power. So um, the science, right, tells me I am currently around about 188 pounds, right? I started off at 100 and, 190, you know, we, uh, we, it, that surprised me to be honest. That was a little bit heavier than I thought. One way or another, now we are at 188. So the science then tells me that because of how active I am in terms of going to the gym and stuff, I need around about 2,320 calories, something, something around about that mark. I know from past experience that what the science tells me is often a little bit too much, whether that's because of my metabolism or you know I'm overestimating my exercise rate or something like that. I don't know, it could be a factor, but um, it's more often than not too much. And so what I've decided to go with is a slightly lower 2,200 calories because that gives me a little bit of room for, for manoeuvre. On top of that, I'm gonna be doing cardio three times a week minimum. Probably two, I'd probably say one hit cardio session, so I don't know, sort of, hit sort of with, with weights or whether that's sprints. The other one would just be low intensity, steady state. I can take my headphones, put on some YouTube or something like that. So the calories that I'm going to be using officially are around about 2,200 calories, 250 carbs, 190 protein and 50 grams of fat. Now that is a rough estimate. That's not gonna be like, bam, I have to hit these macros every single time. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna film a, a full day of eating and try and hit them on the back. I'm just gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna try and hit them. But at the same time, I'm well aware that it's not necessarily um, too crucial, especially at my stage of, uh, of lifting, that you hit it spot dead on. It's, it's just a, a guideline. And one more thing that I think just needs to be quickly discussed was my body tracks test. I've been waiting for it for ages, the whole 10 weeks hype was built around it. Um, and I finally had it done yesterday, or was it the day before? Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, I had it done and I was 20.6% body fat with literally all of it, well not literally, okay, most of it being held right here. Now it's no secret um, that I have big fat love handles um, that just really stubborn and difficult to, you know, get rid of. So I would be looking to at least lose 5% body fat, at least get down to below 15% um, because that's around about where I was last year. I know myself that if I can get down to that level, then I'll look a lot better than I did this time last year. If I can get down to 15% or less, that's what I was when I was in Ibiza. Um, and so it would be very interesting to see to, uh, to, to see the progress. So I'll give you guys a little bit more of an update on the body tracks test in the next video. But that is going to round off today's day in the life episode of being a Trent student. Like I said, it was a Wednesday and so this was 
not really my regular Wednesday. I don't always go to ocean on a Wednesday, uh, but a lot of trend students do a lot, especially if you're in a society. But the this kind of structure of the day, Wednesday tends to be like my chill day where I tend to not do an awful lot really. So um thought I would show you guys sort of that side of my life as well. Um because I want to show you everything, as you know, 10 weeks, growth, all that usual stuff. So, as I say, that's rounding it off today. Uh, together we will grow. As always, remember, no regrets. I'm going to head off to Ocean and have a sick night. Cheers, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video.